So kind of, you know, thinking about the past, thinking about, you know, who we are and why we are here today, a lot of people tend to forget where they come from. And when I, you know, tell others about this, I, I really do think about my family. My mother from El Salvador, she immigrated to the United States. She was about 17 years old and she wanted to start studying. Uh, however, she spoke no English. She had no way of learning English. She had no methods of even going to uh, get an education. Uh, so right off the bat, she started working. And then after a while, you know, she met my father. She had us. Uh, I have an older sister and a younger brother. Things seemed like they were going to be all right. My father uh, was providing for a little bit. However, though, you know, things don't always go the way you want them to. My father left us when I was four, and it was difficult. My mother was put into a situation where she had no income, she had no, no really means to provide for three children. And so my mother started working at a car wash again, and she did whatever she could just to make sure that we were all right. And really early on, I, I figured it out. Uh, I kind of figured it out because my mom, you know, couldn't afford a babysitter, couldn't afford anything like that. So she would actually take us with her to work and she'd have us sitting in her, in her minivan. And that was the life that we lived. As you kind of start getting older though, you hit middle school, you hit high school, and you start hearing about this word, you know, college. And you also have to think about how you're going to pay for college. How am I going to afford it? My mom works at a car wash. I had a teacher, actually, who was an alumnus from Rice. And he, he talked to me. He talked to me about, you know, thinking about applying to Rice. There was, I had been thinking about applying to, you know, state schools, um, schools that were, you know, cheaper, maybe a community college to get your basics done. Came time to apply. I actually, uh, didn't end up telling my mother about this. I didn't want her to think, you know, what if you get into the school and you have no means to pay for it, you have no means to get there. You know, you have this perception that Rice is, uh, you know, a very prestigious school, and without a doubt, it is a very prestigious school. It's the best school here in Texas, one of the best schools in the nation. And you have this idea that it only the best can make it. You know, and so when I, when I found out that, that I had made it, that I was able to get in, that just felt really good, you know, it felt like like hard work pays off and that you can really just, you know, work your way up and you can really like overcome all the barriers that life has set for you, all the things that you weren't able to control and you can get past that. I was really excited that I had gotten accepted here to Rice, but I still wasn't necessarily sure how I was going to pay for it or what I was going to do to cover the expenses. But Rice, you know, at that time really stepped up and they have this thing called need blind admissions and if they think that you know you're good enough to get in and and that you do get in uh, they're willing to go the extra mile to make sure that you come here they're willing to help you out regardless of your financial situation back home I'm absolutely grateful to be here and I wouldn't be able to be here without financial aid that they provided for me the help that other alumni, they donate to the school and they want kids to come. And The Rice Emerging Scholars Program, which helped me the summer before to, we started school, get ready for the level of difficulty that Rice would be and helped me actually meet a lot of my friends right now and just kind of prepare me for what it really is to work together with other people. I haven't had to use a single dollar from my mom. I haven't had to ask her for any money simply because, you know, the school has really, really helped me out. And that is something, I think, is that someone like me who had nothing, who didn't start, you know, being anything till later half of high school, who was just trying to make it through, trying to work his way up, that they were able to give me that opportunity to be here. I'm studying chemical engineering. There's a lot of opportunities, in the, you know, in the job field for that. I'm hoping to find a good job just to Make sure that my mother is okay, you know, make sure that my family is okay, and just make sure that we can continue living uh, decently and, and just pay her back for everything that she's done for, for me.